game-changing moment, life-changing moment for me, it was actually when I was a kid. I was 17 years old, and I was, uh, I'd been playing drums for a few years um, in jazz band in school and so forth. But when I was uh, really young, I went to see Count Basie's band, which was this iconic jazz big band. Um, you know, if you're real young, you might not know who that is. It's kind of the equivalent to Duke Ellington. And um, bought every record I could find. Played to the records hours and hours and hours and hours. This went on for five or six years. And I was a senior in high school outside of San Francisco. And I snuck back into the backstage area and met a few of the guys in Count Basie's band. <clears throat> Told them I was a drummer. And um, five minutes before the concert was to start, the whole band gets on stage, it's 17 musicians, and Count Basie, who I'd just been introduced to, is about to be introduced. And the manager comes up to him and says, uh, Basie, Sonny Payne's not here. Now, Sonny Payne was the drummer. And Basie said, did you say you were a drummer? I said, yeah. And he said, you want to play? And I said, yeah. So it was December 3rd, 1973, it was a Saturday night, and uh, I was a senior in high school, and I went out and I played the entire concert, and it was every song that I had played hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times over about six or seven years, I guess, something like that. And um, it sort of cemented what my career was gonna be. Um, when I look back on it, it was such a coincidence for me to be in that place at that time, that um, it was a dream come true. But what I have found over the years is all the musicians I've ever wanted to work with, whether it was Frank Sinatra or uh, Ella Fitzgerald or Luther Vandross or Michael Buble, who I'm making an album with now, or Jason Mraz, what I find is that where my passion is and my interest, those doors start opening. And, you know, the uh, that opportunity from that moment um, at 17 playing with that band was uh, uh, something that I reflect on quite a bit. And I tell young students that uh, when you follow your passion, the doors start opening for you, right? And, you know, I taught at USC for almost 20 years, <clears throat> and I tell that story to all my new students. And I say, you know, 20 years from now, you're gonna look back and you're gonna say, you know, yeah, where, you know, where I kind of put my attention those opportunities started opening up. When I look back on my life in 10-year segments, I had my years touring with, with Sinatra, and I had my years touring with Basie and all these different artists. And then <clears throat> uh, my life took a turn toward music producing, which I spend as much time playing now as I do producing. And you know, I um, won a Latin Grammy for Producer of the Year a couple years ago, and then uh, two months ago I won the Best Engineer Grammy. And it's because I had a passion for engineering and a passion for producing. But I'd never, 10 years ago or 20 years ago, if you'd said, you're gonna get the producer of the year Grammy or the best engineer, I would've never believed it. And, uh, but it's all part of making music and it, it, for me, it all relates back to that, that moment of, uh, of success with Basie back in 1973.